Greetings, this is J. Peter Brzezzi. In this lesson, we're going to discuss how to set up basic Loadmaster networking. So typically, in an environment that has DHCP, your VLM will automatically pick up its IP settings. However, in this case, for the purpose of demonstration, we have a system that's on a network that doesn't have DHCP enabled. So, we'll have to go forward and set up the configuration ourselves. We're going to give it an IP address, a gateway, all of the basic settings. Now, in the event you don't set up the configuration settings, it will automatically default to an IP address of 192.168.1.101. So, that may work for your network right out of the box, but typically you're going to want to go in and configure this for your specific network. So, let's show you how to do that. So at this point, we're going to start the virtual machine. Now, if you're working on a physical load master, the easiest way to configure it initially for the networking settings is by using the monitor and keyboard. With the virtual system, the easiest way to configure it is through the virtual machine connection. All right, so let's click the power on button. As you can see, we have a very quick boot process and we'll be at the console shortly. So as you can see here, the IP address of this appliance is 192.168.1.101, just as I had mentioned. We're going to change that in a moment, but first we have to log in. Now the default login for a Loadmaster has the username BAL, B-A-L, and the password is the number one with lowercase for all, F-O-U-R-A-L-L. -L. So the password is the number one, F-O-U-R-A-L-L. -L. Let's log in. You're greeted with the setup screen because it's detected that it hasn't received an IP address from DHCP. And so at this point, we can actually change the IP address of the appliance. So we're going to change this IP address. At the same time, we're not going to configure a subnet mask. Instead, we're going to use a forward slash and put in the CIDR or CIDR stipulation that indicates the number of bits to take for our network as opposed to node. So we'll go with 10.0.0.5 and we'll go with forward slash 24, which if put into a subnet mask configuration would be 255.255.255.0 or 24 ones and eight zeros at the end, if you want the binary two. Being that we're not using a mouse at this point for the configuration, we just hit enter, which is on okay. And now we have to put in the IP address of the default gateway. And in this case, it's just dot one. The subnet mask is not needed in this case. So we hit enter for OK. And you can see we have an option to put in the IP address of a name server. This is optional, but it's helpful when it comes to resolving the real server names. All right, so here we see we have 10.0.0.11. We hit enter for OK. So at this point, we've completed basic Loadmaster networking. At this point, we can switch over to the web user interface, which makes the configuration of other settings a whole lot easier. Now, if we click no at this screen, it will take us into other configuration settings, licensing and so forth that we can configure from there. But that's not the purpose of this lesson, so we'll just click yes, and it will drop us down to the login screen. So we hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.